Hey guys, it's Thunder here, and welcome to another episode of the Need for Speed Most Wanted Mod Showcase. Now, at the time I'm currently recording this wheel thing that you're seeing here, I actually just recorded this as soon as I did the last wheel, which had, of course, the 3000 GT, the NSX, and the Toyota FT1. I'm just going to mass record these wheels, so just, just to basically, uh, just to get through them, and I'm going to have to actually apply wheel changes because i got to take the three off. There we go. So we're just gonna go through these and just I'm just gonna bring it down until we have, of course, nothing left. And then that way we'll just it'll give people, I guess, more time to build the wheel up. And if, you know, there's a period of time that goes on and no suggestions, I'll start throwing in some of my suggestions to keep it going. But uh, we'll see. We'll just see how it keeps going from here. So, anyways, enough talking. Let's pick three cars to take for this epi particular episode. First up, we'll get. Oh, that was extremely close, but it's held on for the Dodge Monaco, which was requested by Kelly Meyer, which, or Mayer, sorry. I apologize if I said your last name incorrectly. That is his first suggestion that he's ever made. Next up, we're going to get the Nissan Silvia S13 D-Max, a drifting Silvia, requested by 04567, which is his second suggestion. His first car was the Porsche 911 GT2. And finally, completing those three, those two, we're going to have, oh, well, again, very close, but we're going to have the Mazda MX-5, which was requested by Netco9. Again, his second pick, which in his first pick was, of course, the Ford Colin McRae Motorsports Escort Mark II. So, a first, so a first for someone and a second for two others. Let's take it. And now we're back into the game, of course, with our first car mod of this episode being the Dodge Monaco, which is actually a bit of a fairly interesting mod, as I will show you here. Uh, if we go into the body kit, you'll have, you won't see too much here because of the default color, but there is a different top. If we go a little bit in, we have a, it, the front bumper changes, it's actually a night, reminiscent of a 1975 Monaco. It's also a bit of a black top there, which is nice. And if we go to this last one, we can actually have a 1976 Monaco front end, which is basically longer and I think generally just looks nicer, so we're going to go with that one. Uh, spoilers, obviously, well, duh, they don't exist for good reasons. Wheels can obviously be changed. Again, we won't, we won't worry about that. Looks like the hoods don't really do anything, so nothing there. And roof scoops probably don't do nothing. Yes, good. A Monaco does not need a roof scoop. Uh, visually, we, we go into paint here. Let's give it like a dark red paint because I think it goes well with the car. Vinyls, they actually do work with this car, which actually did genuinely surprise me. I didn't actually think a, a car like this would, would get vinyls. Nothing in the custom because this isn't a blacklist car or anything. That's all uh, it was really made for by the extra, the guy who made the extra options just for black if it's a blacklist or in one case a, a, for another car a, one scheme that was was never used but exists in the files. Let's just go with that. I think that looks okay. Um, and you get the idea. So there we go. So there's our Monaco, and of course, as always, we're going to be taking it over to the Petersburg, that's quote-unquote test track as I call it, give it some four laps, remove all the traffic, no opponents, that doesn't really matter to anything, but I just do it anyways because of habit, and let's give it a run. Now, this replaces the Mercedes SL500, so it seems to carry the same Mercedes engine note, and... Uh, and because it's also replaced the SL500, I don't know if the real car was like that or not. But this is a car that's going to have seven gears, which a Monaco does not actually have seven gears. Uh, now, when it comes to performance, I'm actually kind of expecting that the Monaco will more than likely perform very similar to the um, to the car it replaces. So maybe it might be better. I don't know, but I'm not I'm not personally holding my breath. We, I mean, we have a car later on that replaces the CLK 500, but considering what it is, I think it will be a good improvement, but you'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Generally, though, this is a pretty interesting car. car. It's like a nice, like, old sedan from the 70s, from a period of, big, during a period of still big cars and whatnot, and it's got some decent power to it. I'm just trying to get that all the way, especially after what happened in the last part with with cars like the NSX and the uh, FT1, 
Just let's just try to get rid of that as much as, as soon as on the first lap, and we don't have to worry about it. So yeah, it's definitely heavy on the handling. Doesn't doesn't have a lot of severe grip. Doesn't have a lot of gripping power. It's I mean it's to be fair, judging the car's size and what it is, I'm not surprised at all that it's like that. But it could have also been a lot worse too. But I th so it's it is doing fairly well for such a big car for what it is. Like it's sad that even a Dodge Monaco it, it can go faster than a Viper SRT Viper mod. I mean, there's there's multiple SRT Viper mods, but still that one just still really angers me for reasons I've already gotten into. So, but yeah, this one should will probably get like a pretty interesting time out of for at least for the kind of vehicle that it is. I mean, it won't be anything drastic. It'll be down there, that's for sure. But it won't be I, I, it won't be the bo absolute bottom. In fact, let's go over to the bumper view, try to get a little bit more, of a better feel, try to get a better lap. Yeah, 101.09 is definitely down there, but we had a couple mistakes anyway, so I know this thing can do faster. Oh boy. Oh damn, we got a bit of a slide there. That wasn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted to just ease off a little bit for trying to go in there to just cut it as much as possible. That did help, so. Oop, okay, careful now, careful. Yeah, it's just, you gotta you got really time these corners well with the Monaco, because you gotta take them early if you're gonna get the most out of them. But yeah, Monaco, a Monaco that can do over 200 miles an hour, that, and that, that's a wonderful thing. Ugh, that corner is not the easiest, especially with a car like this. So yeah, I, I, I if if I I'm really gonna have to push it if I think honestly at this point if I'm gonna get a sub one minute lap. But it feels like the car is is capable of doing it. That's for sure. I just gotta have everything go to plan. Careful. Okay, that was that was better. I didn't get a bit of a slide there, resulting in a additional loss of speed there. Oh, that was ex extremely close to the wall, like very close, but I managed to, to just only hit that sign and that was about it. Again, just taking it a little carefully. Just trying really hard here. Yep, back, over, back to over 200. Oh, damn. That it just kind of gave up a little bit there. For that 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 might be the end of the run for that one, but still, I mean, you could say at least I gave it a good. I should I try to give it a good go to get this thing over 200. So I'm gonna let's just see if it was a sub one minute. Don't think it was, but it probably was the best lap. Still, anyways. Yep, one minute point three three. If I really push a sub one minute, could be possible with this car. But as it is a big. American car. That's not surprised what where it lands. So next up, of course, is we have this the Nissan Silvia S13 D Max. Suggest that zero suggested. We're having a little bit of a problem with it now. This is actually an ins this one. This is one of those mods that has an installer for it, and it replaces. It, all it does is it just adds the, the folders if you don't already have it, and replaces the Mazda RX-8. The problem is it doesn't actually have a front end or manufacturer's logo, which gives me the Temp 350 FENG default string error. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen pictures, and it's supposed to have an actual logo and everything, but I can have no way. I have no idea to figure out how to get it to show up. Now this car actually does have some wings we can put onto it, so we can we can kind of have something like it, like the the uh, like the installer actually shows like a. A not in-game picture of car and it has a spoiler. So, for the sakeness of I guess to get it a little bit closer, we'll put one on. I don't exactly know which one the the real car uses. I don't really, f I don't really follow this kind of thing very well. So, someone will have to tell me. I'll just go with this one because I think it looks it looks good enough. Uh, we're not obviously gonna change the wheels. No, no chance with that. Hoods obviously doesn't doesn't do a thing as it probably really shouldn't need to. Roof scoops also don't do a thing as to be expected. And I'm going to quickly go into here, just going to yeah, under paint, we'll just, just to kind of make it match a little bit, we'll, we'll, we'll give it like a, what's the closest I can get to that purple in the back there? I guess something like that's probably the closest I'm going to get. 
We could all we could go like a pink to match front area, and then if we go for this, it's gonna be all way too drastic. In fact, we wow, actually get a completely different di color design with that. That's actually kind of cool. But no, we're gonna we'll go with this to I guess make it a little more matching. So, and just for all all sake, and this why don't we all actually also put uh what's better magenta purple or magenta? I'm gonna go with magenta. Just to, oh, it even does the things with the headlights. That's that's kind of interesting. But yeah, we'll we'll go with that. So we got ourselves like a like a drift car here. And, but knowing this game, I don't think this is gonna be drifting. In fact, I actually expect this might be a fairly interesting car. Now, when I was doing the performance stats, the top speed stat did look pretty low. So there is a chance it may top out pretty early. But let's just hope it doesn't. And so hope it does fairly well. I'd be very interested to see how this does. Well, it's definitely quick off the line. Well, it is a little bit more graduate, though. Gradual, though. Okay, this is very strange. When I when I gave it the first turn, it felt at, for a moment it felt like it wasn't it barely turned at all. Then you wait a little bit, and then it kicks in. It's very strange with this car. But uh, man, I'm I don't think this thing has enough power. It doesn't look like it's gonna get it very quick time. I mean, it could have interesting handling all at once, but if it's not quick, then I, it's not really going to matter too much. And yeah, it certainly doesn't look like it's going to be very quick. In fact, it it tops out at 184. This thing can't even do 200 miles an hour, so we got a bit of a, a, a red light with this car here. So I don't... So yeah, this may actually be Interestingly enough, I th this may even do lower than the Monaco, which is insane to think about. I mean, I, I mean, it is a, It was obviously eventually it's based off of a drift car, so it, it was probably more made for the modders who tend to use like drift physics mo handling mods or whatnot for the cars. So that was probably always to be the original intention. But it, it. So yeah, for someone like me, it definitely feels very out of place for that particular reason. But yeah, the fact that this only tops at 184, we we could have, and it, the fact that it doesn't fe doesn't seem to get to 184 very quick, we're not gonna have a very quick we're not gonna have a very quick car on our on our hands here, which is very dis which is very disappointing. Yeah, 100. See that 184 is all this thing is gonna do. I mean, I've been trying as much as I can to get it to go a little bit quicker but you know it's, it's just not gonna it's just not gonna give it it's nothing there's not much to really give for the car so that's all we can all that we can really do so yeah look at that 102.75 that's that's like last place there I mean it's kind of down there with the Viper so let's let's at least uh, with hope with bumper you try to hopefully get it maybe up to 101 but yeah th this thing is slower than the Monaco and it's all because of the fact that the car doesn't get up to speed very quickly and it only does 184 that's wow I'm very surprised by this thing I don't I don't I could like I said before we started I think it was gonna do very well it's definitely not doing very well so I was very wrong about that one so oops my bad yeah, let's, let's let's just let's just stay with the bump review here. Let's just push it and try to see what we can manage to get. And you know, if it works out, it works out. And if not, mm -hmm. a slight itch of my nose too, which is a little bit annoying. Cut in there a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, 102, 03. I I'm trying to like I'm trying here. I'm trying to get this thing down to 101, but it doesn't look like it's going to be capable of that. I mean, I think with the 10203, it does beat the Viper at least, so it, it does have that going for it. Yeah, it's just I have to really try here, but it doesn't it just doesn't look like it's got much? It's just the acceleration is slow and it tops out way too early at 180. It tops out at 184, whereas most were in in this game that if you if your car only tops out at 184, oh boy, you're not gonna have a fun time. But anyway, so let's just try to get surrounded. Let's just see if we can at least get to down to that 101 area, if if it all, if at all possible. 
I mean, this lap feels this lap feels like I've been I've been doing fairly well. So there's a, there's hope. There is hope that I could that I could pull it off. But let's find out. Did I manage to 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 crack it? Yes, I did. 101.60. So I at least managed to fulfill my goal. But wow. This this car really dropped the ball. I, that's just it's shocking. I didn't expect it to be this slow, but it is. Wow, we definitely have some cars very down the the leaderboard this episode. Can the last car at least break that with the Mazda MX-5? Which, actually, kind of looking at it, I don't think this is a particularly very appealing mod because if we get in this close, we can. What's with that square there? What's with this square here? That doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. And then yeah, the bumper there and like the, the windshield wipers. It, it's it's not very appealing to say the least. Oh well, at least for in the case of most of that, we can somewhat improve it if we, of course, go over to this. Which you know, it gets, it, it at least gets rid of that. It gets rid of the whole things out there. So there's there's a little, you know there's a bit of improvement. It's still yeah. It, just, it looks like this was kind of early and. The person just kind of slapped it together and whatnot, but we're gonna put that body kit because it's quite a large one, and this body kit has a spoiler, but you can also put a spoiler right next to it. So spoiler on spoiler, it's very weird, and yeah, we're not actually gonna do that. Wheels we're gonna leave as is. Obviously, I don't really do that for most cars unless they don't like the stock wheels that it comes with for any particular reason. Uh, no hoods and roof scoops probably exist. Yeah, no thanks though. He already, he, of course, you, you guys already well know about that. I'm not going to paint it because if we go into the unique vinyl sections, we actually can put a racing livery on it. I think these are probably need for speed shift liveries, if anything. They're not particularly very appealing though because you can, they kind of look a bit, they kind of look a bit dirty. In fact, I didn't actually mean to do that. Hang on. Let me go back to that. It's least noticeable with this one, but yeah, it kind it looks, it kind it just, it looks dirty. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't look particularly very clean at all, and I, I doesn't think it's supposed to be that fact. Look at the Hankook logo on that, it's very low resolution, that's, eh, it's not very good. This car just doesn't feel like it much got far in it. We're, we'll just go with this one, because it's kind of close to, the, it kind of reminds me of the Renown livery, in terms of color vibes that it's giving and whatnot, but yeah. Not much detail, much done at all to the MX-5. It just kind of looks like it was kind of done on a quickie. So, but can it at least go the? F but maybe it will all be fine if it does at least go fastest of the bunch. So, oh boy, we got a bit of a shake. We got a bit of a bumpy wheel at the back there. Yeah, this was this was not a mod that was done in much time. It's, it was done pretty much on the quick. Oh God. 100 miles an hour, we're only 4 at the year. This thing's got some short gears. It does at least get the, the gear. Oh, what is that understeer? Wow, that is bad. This is not a quick. This hasn't been a quick episode at all. In fact, look at that. I'm struggling to even get through there at around 135. This thing. Oh, wow. This is. This is. This is just dreadful. Wow, and this thing, it, it's already reaching its speed quick, in fact. Oh my god, seven gears. Well, I mean, it does replace the CLK 500, so I suppose it may have something to do with that. But Jesus, it, oh, this thing just, it can't turn. It, it can't really turn at all. We're gonna, this is probably gonna be the slowest of the bunch. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this sets the, the record for the slowest car around the track, because it, ugh. Oh, just trying to get around these turns is a nightmare. Like I'm real, I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can at least get this get this thing to avoid last place. But wow, this is this is this is admittedly pretty bad. This is not a very good mod. I'm um, it's the it it's doesn't look very particularly appealing. It's it it's got bumpy we like a bumpy wheel effect and it's understeers like mad which. For an MX-5, does makes zero sense whatsoever. This is a lot of people use MX-5s as track cars. This isn't performing like a track car at all. It's like, oh man. I mean, I at least managed to just hit 200, but still, just wow. This thing is just disgraceful. It's it's embarrassing that an MX-5 is even like this. And there we go into there. And I'm not surprised at all. I'm just wow. I mean. 
Of course, Connor or Netco, when he chose this, he obviously had no idea he was going to perform like this. And that's pretty much the good majority of people for anything like that. They don't, they don't obviously predict it. But wow, this thing is bad. This is a bad car. This is, without question, I think at this rate, one of the worst mods I've driven. I mean, the 1000 TC is the complete opposite. It's insanely fast and in a very stupid way, but that's what makes it so fun, is because it's like, here's a car you absolutely do not expect whatsoever to be doing so quick. And it does that, and it makes it all the more entertaining. This is just not quick at all. And it's all because this thing has such poor handling. Like, at least with the the Sylvia, the, it was, yeah, it wasn't very quick, but at least it could turn a little bit. The Monaco could even turn better than that, and that was heavy. That that understandably had understeer because it's a big American sedan car. That would make sense to have under to have the understeer that the Monaco did, but this is an MX-5. This is a Miata. This shouldn't be this slow. An MX-5, a Miata, a Roadster. Why is this just understeering so much? I mean, there's a 102.16, so maybe it avoided last place. I honestly don't know at this point. It's just. Wow, this thing just can't turn. It really can't. But, man. Now that I really think about it, may maybe that Viper could... Ha if I were to get that Viper again, I'd almost be tempted to try to redrive it, because that thing was quicker and top end than this. It just didn't have much handling, which was, again, its fault. But if I try it... But maybe if I tried it with this view, maybe I could do fairly well with it. I mean, I... I mean, or, well, at least better is, is the, you know, the closest thing I'm going to be able to get. But, yeah, this is, this isn't, I haven't particularly enjoyed driving this at all. I just, oh, can't even get through there without having a problem. It's just, this isn't, this is, oh, you just mostly been hearing me complain throughout this entire thing with this car, because it's all, uh, oh, man, that was, that was not fun. That, I just, shocked. Yep, and I was just very barely off that. A 102.18. Unbelievable. This is... This has been a very slow episode. We haven't had a... Not a single car that we tested got even under one minute. That's very shocking. Well, I guess we all know where they're landing up in the leaderboard then. Okay, so that's a, that was a very strange part to think about because today's fastest car in 60th place is the Dodge Monaco with a 1 minute point three three second time. Yeah, 60th place is the fastest in this episode. How about that? Down in 64th place is the Nissan Silvia S13 D-Max with a 1 minute 1.60. And the new slowest car in 66th place is the Mazda MX-5 with a 1 minute 2.18. Let's just hope that the next part isn't somehow even slower than this. I can't imagine it would be, but hey, well, who knows. So thank you guys anyways for watching. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments for car, car requests. Make sure you have had your first car go up before you suggest another one or request another one, whatever. Follow me on Twitter to get the latest updates. If you want to donate to my Patreon, feel free to do so. I do. Well, I am not going to force you to. It's all. But if you do, I appreciate it. And as always, thank you for watching and take care.